Hello and welcome back to Silent Hill. When I last left off, I was um, wandering about in the school and I just gone up to see if I could get to the roof. Presumably that's the roof, I think. And uh, it was locked, so now I'm not sure where I need to go, to be honest. I've got a, I've got a medallion, so there's that. But other than that, I'm not sure if I've actually picked up anything else. Just check. No, I haven't got anything useful other than a gold medallion. However, it does say that there's a clock tower engraved on the back of it. And I happen to know where there is a clock tower. <coughs> so let's have a look there, shall we? Uh, somewhere out here. I think it's in one of the corners. We could find the right corner. Ah, here we are. Right. What's this say? A silver moon. Right, so that's the silver one that we need. And a golden sun. So presumably that's the gold medallion. It goes in there. Right, okay. <clears throat> That's the first half of the puzzle done. Oh, damn it. Get attacked. As for the second half, though, um, that is. I know that's definitely got something to do with the piano that's upstairs. Somewhere. But, uh. Wait, hang on, what? Which way have I gone here? Right, yeah. Right, so something to do with the piano that's upstairs, but as for what I've got to do with that, I cannot remember. <coughs> well, I know what I've got. To, I know it's something to do with what the thing itself says, but um, I can't remember what that. How to? Uh, presumably, I've got to get the piano open if I want to actually play it. I just can't remember how to go about doing that. God damn it, get out the way, you stupid thing. Right, which way was the music room? It was through that door. Uh, is it here? Here we are. Oh, fuck's sake. Shoot these things. Finally. Right. <laughs> Actually taking care of some of them for once. How much have I got left? No, I've still got a ridiculous amount left. Um tell me it wrong button. Which I keep turning my flashlight off by accident. Uh, music rooms, the other one. Damn it! Right, there is something in here that I've got to use as a puzzle. Oh right. I don't know what I did, but this is now open. So, uh, I. Uh, Followed my advice from before, my own advice from before, and I went and grabbed a notebook. So, uh, just grab that here. There we go. So, let's write down the gist of what this tells me. Right, okay. Tale of Birds Without a Voice. Right, first flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward. So, first is a pelican. Flailing, so it's falling behind, so it's near the left. Then came a silent dove. So that's white again, and that's the key that doesn't make any noise, because it's silent. And that's far off to the right, because he's flying as far as he could be on the pelican. 
A raven then flies in, so that's a black key next. Flying higher than the dove. So that's probably the next one up from the dove in terms of the keys. Then a swan flies in next to another bird. That's the only clue we get. Next to another bird. Then we've got a crow, finally. Coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. So I think that means it's near the left hand side. So a black key near the left. Okay, let's see how good I am at decoding this puzzle. Let's check the piano. Right, okay. So these keys are the ones that we have. So first we've got a pelican that's somewhere on the left, so let's go with that one. Silent dove. Well, none of them make any noise, but anyway. I think this is right so far. The raven was higher than the dove. Then the swan was next to another bird, so that's either here or here. Um, let's go with that one. And then crow coming quickly to a stop. Oh, yes! First time. Take that, puzzle. And there is the silver medallion. So now I can go back out of this room and back down the uh, stairs, which are this side. Run past that. And the stairs are here, so I go down the stairs. Because I want to go back out to the courtyard. So that's through this door. And then through this door. And I can't even remember where the uh, clock tower was now in regards to where I am. It was either in this corner or the opposite corner. It's in this corner, okay. Well, that allows me to quickly run over here. And where's the silver medallion? There you are. Silver medallion. Use that. Okay, puzzle complete. It's not really much of a puzzle, it's more... You've done two other puzzles and it's the rewards coming together. The hands stopped at five. Oh god. Things coming after me. The hands stopped at five, okay. Is that... Oh right, yeah. The windows... Uh, there were those notes, weren't there? That were regarding some thing about stuff. Damn it! Get off me! I'm gonna go back through here so I can quickly get across the courtyard to the other side. Um, yeah, there were those notes, weren't there, that pertained to what I had to do. So I actually go in here and look at them again. Which was the one that referenced 5 o'clock. That's 12 o'clock. That's 10 o'clock. So this... Wait, hang on, was that that one that I've just read then? I thought I'd read the other one. Yeah, okay, let's kill this thing before it gets any closer. Apparently... Harry wants to go right instead of left. Right. Not having any shit from them. Especially when I'm on such low health. All the time. All the time I'm doing really badly. Anyway, what does this say about five o'clock? Darkness that brings the choking heat, flames rend the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beck and pray. What? What? Have I got an item that can 
No. What? Door's apparently locked, but... These reference what I've done, don't they? Yeah, right, so I got the... I used the sage's water, which obviously represents the acids, to get the gold from the man's palm. Um, I got the... Um, the silver thing by doing the stuffs. Does this mean anything? No. But yeah, I've got, what do I do? I'm gonna shoot these for a start. That's enough of running past these things. Is it? Yeah. Okay, the hands are stopped at five. What do I do now then? I've completely forgotten what I do next. I thought I just had to get the couple of medallions and then that would give me the thing and that door is open. Apparently not. Um. Let's have a look at the map. Have I missed anything on the map? Oh, can I get down? I can go down to that other side of the school. Right. In here and into the left. Head up the stairs. I must have seen the stairs before and thought there was only one set and one size of the thing, but presumably. If I go in here and then across to the other side. Damn it! And then there should be a set of stairs in the opposite corner. Right. Set of stairs here that I can take down. Awesome. Damn it. How did it go that far? Shot in the face from about a foot away. Anyway. Ah, there's a basement there. What have we got in terms of actually on this floor, though? before we check downstairs. Another classroom. Some stuff in. No useful stuff, like, but stuff. Classroomy stuff. Where are these enemies that I can hear? Right, there's just squeaky ghosts, are there? Hang on bullets. And squeaky ghosts. Okay then. Go out here. And then there's this door to check, which is locked. Well, the lock's jammed. Might as well be locked. Um, okay then. Can I unlock either of these doors for quicker access? Yes, I can. Oh, damn it. Didn't even see you there. Can I unlock this one as well? Yes, okay. And down to the basement. Because that's the only area I haven't yet checked. So there must be something there, presumably. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Weird things with the th stuff. Do I want to press the switch? Yeah, sure, why not? I often find random switches and just push them for no reason. That's presumably done something. What it's done, I don't know. 
Maybe it has something to do with being able to actually open that clock tower thing now. So, uh, let's just check there definitely wasn't anything else in here, so I don't have to come all the way back here. Fine. Let's check back upstairs at the clock tower then, and see if that door will open now. Because I suppose I've done something. It's possible that what I've done could open the door, I suppose. I've had enough of these little creatures though, I'm going to start just killing all of them when I get the chance. I could have just gone down the door at the other end that I was closer to, but no. It's me being stupid and forgetting where I was. Right, shouldn't have any more trouble from them for a bit, hopefully. What I am having trouble with, though, is that I keep losing health a lot. Right. Clock tower's in the other corner. Is this going to let me in, though? Yes, there we go. That's what I needed to do, apparently. And the obvious thing to do is, you know, you find a weird passage in a clock tower in a school that's filled with demon children. Obvious thing to do is climb down the strange passage and go through a horrible tunnel system that takes you to the other side, the other world, whatever you want to call it. It takes you to the demonic place. The evil side of Silent Hill, basically. Where am I? Have I been here before? Well, technically, I suppose. As I said, it's just the school, but the evil version. With the uh, cultist's mark on the uh, floor. I don't remember this being here before. Oh well, anyway. That one's locked. So it must be this one that we want to use. There we go. And, yeah, as you can see, things are fucked up now. We've got all this metal grating stuff and rust shit going on. And now, the map is once again clean, so now we have to uh, check everywhere again. Because it was so fun the first time. Only this time everything's quite different. Got a rubber ball. Always fun. Oh, giant cockroaches. Lovely, I remember these now. Easy to kill, but rather annoying. Doesn't seem to be much in here other than another exit. Yeah, there's a lot of metal grate stuff going on. Cards are scattered. Well, I want this special card that's a picture card. I want that one. I'm going to take it. Right. Oh, God. Where actually am I now? Right, I'm going, I'm bypassing that grate by using the fact that the classrooms were connected to each other individually. I can't believe I just missed all three shots there. Oh god, there's another, oh god damn it! Get off! Right, out this door. Am I really doing badly or is this just a lot harder than I remember it being? Whatever. Anyways. 
health drink and through this door. Then. Right, I'm gonna get you now. Apparently I'm not, so I'm gonna miss the first two shots. You miss a lot, don't you, Harry? I suppose it's understandable, being that you're not like trained with a weapon or anything, you're just a random person who happens to be have been given a gun. This was the room that was like a staff lounge. It's now a horrific torture thing. But as you can maybe see, maybe noticed, there's this door which has a slot in it and the door looks an awful lot like the design that was on that car.